Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Here is the sewing video of the pattern that I once posted. I posted the pattern drafting of this video was it a month ago and I lost some pieces but finally I was able to make this dress for someone else and I decided to show you guys how I made it. So if you have not watched the pattern drafting video you can check my page i will also link the video down in the comment section so that you can go and watch the pattern drafting here i have the pieces of the pattern here is the front pattern it is the same as the former pattern that i drafted just that this one has a yoke but that is okay too because we are going to learn how to sew it with a yoke i have my pattern i have cut out my fabric and also my lining here is the skirt part i am using an ankara for this dress here is the skirt part i have added a tissue gum to the skirt i also added the tissue gum to the lining the same thing to the upper part the same thing to the corset area i added a tissue gum to the main fabric and to the lining i'm using a black crepe for the main fabric that is for the upper part and i will use my ankara to make my bone casing here is the lining as well you can see that i added a tissue gum to the lining as well and this is all for the upper part and for the skirt part for the front then for the back i have my pattern for the back this is the pattern paper for the back and remember we are going to lace the back we are going to add an eyelet to the back so i reduce the zipper allowance by two inches here is the upper part for the back and here is the skirt part for the back as well i added my tissue gum to almost all the pieces of this dress here is this side and the other one as well so for this dress that i'm making it has a lace detail at the down part of the skirt area the skirt area has a lace detail and i'll add that lace, lace detail to the skirt before turning the skirt with my lining i'll add the lace design to it before turning it with my lining you guys saw the lace design at the beginning of this video here is the yoke for the back the back has a yoke the front also has a yoke as well so i'm trying to arrange everything so that we can understand you can see that the upper part of this back panel is shorter than the skirt part around the zipper allowance so here is our yoke i will keep them aside now here is the bra cup pieces and the yoke for the front this is the yoke for the front and these are the bra cup pieces for the front i'll go ahead and arrange them according to the way i will join them we have our center pieces and our side pieces if you are confused you can watch our pattern drafting video i'm sorry that i posted this late but a lot of people have requested for it and i decided to make a sewing video on it you can see what we have here right now here are the bracket pieces and i'll go ahead and join them according to the way i arranged them here is the skirt area the skirt part i'll go ahead and place the lace design on it this is the lace design that i want to add to the skirt and this lace is a jello lace. we call it a jello lace. i'll go ahead and pin down and then i will stitch down on the skirt the same thing is what i'll do to the back this is the skirt area this is the skirt for the back and i'll go ahead and place the lace design on it before turning with the lining is the corset area for the front i am done running my bone casing using an ankara pieces i use an ankara pieces for my bone casing it is also beautiful on it because i used it as a design for the dress so here are the bra cups for the corset i'll go ahead and add my bra cup to the bra cup pieces after joining the bra cup pieces i will add the bra cup before you understand this video you have to have a basic knowledge of corset making is to make it easier for you so i want to use my hemming gum to add my bra cup pieces to this you can see i'll place my bra cup on my bust ham then i will add a hemming gum on top and then place my bra cup pieces on bra cup piece on top so this will help you hold your bra cup in place so that it will not be moving while sewing it to the main bodies so after that i will iron and after ironing i will go ahead and join this bra cup to the 
corset panel or to the corsets of this dress so here is the lining i'll go ahead and add the lining of the bra cup to the lining i'm not adding any other thing to this lining area i'll just go ahead and join my bra cups the lining of the bra cup to the lining of the bodies or the line of the corset so after doing that this is my sleeve i'm using a bell sleeve for this dress i will not show you guys how i cut the bell sleeve so here is the back i am done joining my yoke to the back and i'm done turning it with my lining you can see how they look and there's a space between them because they are not going to have any zipper on them so after doing this i'll go ahead and run a stitch on the back panel i'll go ahead and run my bone bone casing i'll just run a stitch so that my bone will be in between the lining and the main fabric then i'll also mark my half length and that will cut you can see i have measured my half length that i cut then right now i will go ahead and run my bone casing after running that, I will insert my bones before joining to the skirt part. So here is the front part. I am done joining my bra cup to the front part. Uh, first of all, I will join my yoke. I have turned the neck area with a bias. I will go ahead and join my yoke first of all before turning with my lining. So here is the lining. I am done joining my bra cup to the lining. And I will go ahead and join my yoke. After joining, then I will turn with the lining. I am done joining my yoke and I will flip it over. Then I will go ahead and turn this upper part with my lining. You turn the neck area. After turning, you will notch and top stitch. Then you also close the sides. After doing this, you will come back and iron very, very well. Please remember to iron properly before inserting your bones. So after doing that, I am trying to trim off the excess lining that I have around there. And after trimming it off, I will insert my bones. Please, if you're making this corset, use a regiline bone so that you can sit properly. And you can also make this an inbuilt corset. An inbuilt corset can also work for this type of waistline. I don't know if you understand. I'll go ahead and insert my bones. I am using a regiline bone. Regiline bone will be more comfortable than a plastic bone. You know, this waistline extended down to the hip line so that your client can sit properly. Do not use a plastic bone. It will affect your client a lot. So right now, uh, after joining, after inserting my bones, I'll go ahead and join the upper part of the front to the skirt part of the front. Then the upper part of the back to the skirt part of the back. After doing this, I'll go ahead and iron. Iron your bone use a steam iron to iron your bones so that they will be flat this is very very important so that shaping and taking measurements will be very easy for you you can see that i'm ironing my bones and after ironing everything my corset will be very flat you can see what i have right here so right now i will join the skirt parts of the front to the corset of the front i'm trying to trim off my lining and i'll make sure that everything is okay if after joining if you think that everything is not relaxed you can just go ahead and trim off trim off some parts just make sure that this place is relaxed after joining you can see what i have here i will go ahead and mark so after marking i will trim off and after trimming off i will go ahead and join the upper parts to the skirt parts you can see our dress is taking shape already after joining that i will also repeat the same thing to the back so after joining please remember to iron your waistline so that everything will be flat and this is for the front i'll keep the front aside and i'll go ahead and join the upper part of the back to the skirt part of the back and after joining you will close your zipper allowance you can see where the upper part stopped it did not reach the zipper allowance because the back is not going to have any zipper i don't know if you understand so just go ahead and join after joining close your zipper allowance this is what i have i've closed my zipper allowance and right now i will place the front on the back and then i will take my full body measurements this is the front 
and if you are pinning please start from the down part make sure that they are equal at the down part make sure that they are equal and then you will pin also pin the hip area pin the hip area the waist area the bust area before taking your body measurement so after this i noticed that the front part is not relaxed it is bulging i had to reshape my waistline like i had to reshape the joining the asymmetric waistline i had to reshape it so that everything will be flat so after after you are done pinning you can now take your body measurements and after taking your body measurements you are going to shape after shaping, then you can close your shoulder. I closed my shoulder after shaping this dress. So I'm taking my body measurements now. So after taking your body measurements, you go ahead and close your shoulder and then you will attach your sleeve and that will be all. So after doing that, you can now insert your zipper at the back. Because remember that the back will have a zipper. After inserting the zipper, you will now add your eyelets. So I am done and I'm trying to iron the waistline. Though I still did a little adjustment. I had to do some adjustments around this hip area because it did not relax very well. I am done adding my sleeve. But I have not, not added my lining. You can see our bra curl because it is really beautiful. So after that, you go ahead and open your zipper allowance. You can overlock your waistline before adding your zipper. You can go ahead and weave your waistline before adding your zipper. I've opened my zipper allowance and I'll add my zipper. Then after that, you also mark your eyelets. I'm going to add eyelets around this area. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. I hope our dress is beautiful. And guys, the registration for our January online classes is ongoing. Our classes will start on the 10th of January. That is for online classes. And our physical classes will start on the 20th of January. Registration for all of them is ongoing. I'll also drop my WhatsApp number and the link to our Telegram group in the comments section so that you guys can follow up. If you have not seen the pattern drafting of this dress i will also link it in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye